Hello, how are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Uh -huh. Good evening, teacher. How was your day? Good evening, teacher. So, so. So, so. Oh. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Hello, Oscar. Okay. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice una gran tos de chucho en inglés? Okay. Una gran tos. Ah, a hard cough. A hard cough. Okay. Thank Perfect. you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Good. Okay. So yesterday we practiced. Yesterday we practiced the idea of past question. Do you remember? Past. Yes. ¿Se acuerdan cómo hacen las preguntas en pasado? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Using did. Using did. Exacto, exacto. Por ejemplo. What did you do yesterday? For example. What did you did do you yesterday? Yesterday. Did you... Oh. Eat pupusas yesterday. Yes. Did you eat pupusas yesterday? Okay, good. Tenemos dos formas, ¿verdad? El did, did you, did she, did, lo que sea, o WH, what? What did you, where did you, uh, when did you? Okay, these are for questions in the past. Pero el auxiliar que siempre tenemos que usar es en el pasado. Did. Pueden hacer diferente. Por ejemplo, puede hacer did. O puede ser was or were, ¿verdad? Were you in Chalatenango yesterday? Were you happy yesterday? O la acción, did you? Did you study English? Did you do the homework? Did. Ok. A ver, ¿quién me puede dar un ejemplo con did? Did, did you read the book? Okay, did you read the book? Excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, did you uh, watch television yesterday? Okay, did you watch television yesterday? Excelente. Ahora con WH, ¿cómo serían las preguntas con WH? What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? Exactly. Another example? Where did you do yesterday? Mm, where? Did you do? Pero no where did you do? Where did you? Otro verbo. No puedes decir do. Ah, oh, ok. Where, where did, did you go yesterday? Exactly. Where did you go? ¿Dónde where, fuiste? Okay. No, no puede okay, ser. Exactly. ¿Dónde hiciste? Mm -hmm. Right? Where did you go yesterday? Excellent. Ok, así que eso va a ser lo primero que vamos a practicar este día. Vamos a hacer los grupos y queremos hacer 5 y 5, o sea, 10 preguntas. 5 WH, diferente. What, where, when, why, how. Y queremos hacer 5 de did. Did you, did he, did she, did it, did we. It's ok. Si todos están en silencio, significa que sí, estamos listos, ¿ya? Yes? <laughs> we are ready, teacher. Yeah, we are ready. Okay, perfect. So, man, five and five. Five WH, five yes, no. Five WH, five yes, no. Let's review and practice yesterday.
Dora, no, te voy a mandar otro, no hay problema, ya te mando otro. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Luis, don't worry. I put you in a group. Hello. Hello, hello.
Okay, any questions? It's okay, do you remember? Yes, it's okay. No questions? No question. No, okay. All right. Perfect. Let's listen in this moment. Let's listen and answer the questions. 2.6. We're going to listen to two people speaking. We're going to listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. 2.6 and answer the questions. Listening. What did you do last night? Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked yeah. about football all night, and I hate football. Then we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, one more time. We have four questions, one more time. Let's listen. Yes, one more time. Four questions, okay? Listening. What did you do last night? Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So, what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. All right, let's list, let's check. Who had a boring time? John. John. John, okay. Who had a good time? Laura. Laura, okay. Who met an old friend? Laura. 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 Who got home late? Laura but, too. But. But. Oh. But. But. Okay. Excellent. Very good. That is correct. Both got home late. Laura met an old friend and Laura had a good time and John had a boring time. Good. Uh -huh. Excellent listening. Good. Now we're going to be using the past. 
we're going to use the verb to be in the past, okay? Past of be is use. So here we're going to see the conversation and practice the past tense. Participants will have a chance to listen to a conversation when past of be is used. Hi to all, welcome to this session. We'll continue talking about simple past, but now I want you to find out the simple past of be. Listen to the conversation and figure it out. Don't miss next class where I'll explain the past of be. Let's listen. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Okay. I went to Hawaii. First, let's look at the vocabulary, okay, for this conversation. Any vocabulary you don't know? This is 2.8, 2.8. Any vocabulary? Lucky you. Eh, el último Lucky. teacher. Lucky you. Okay. Okay. Sortudo. Sortudo. Lucky you. Simon? Hola, teacher. No. Hi, teacher. Te dijiste algo. No. Oh, no, teacher. No. Okay. Okay. So, lucky you, sortudo. Any other vocabulary? Wallets. The waves were amazing. Waves. The waves were amazing. This. These are the waves. The picture. In the picture, the waves. Ah, yes. okay. Okay. The Thank you. Picture. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Like in Punta Roca, in La Libertad. Teacher? Yes? Please repeat, uh, what's the meaning the ways were amazing? The, this, here, in the picture, in the picture, yeah, the uh-huh, is the waves. And the waves, oh, wow, is in, amazing, incredible. Yes, yes. Okay, this year. Okay. Now we're going to practice, we're going to listen again. We're going to listen for the pronunciation. One more time. Hi to all, welcome to this session. We'll continue talking about simple past, but now I want you to find out the simple past of be. Listen to the conversation and figure it out. Don't miss next class where I'll explain the past of be. Let's listen. Hi Don, how was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Um, I went to Hawaii. Okay. So now when my partner, we practice. Celia and I Don, and then my partner Don and, I, and Celia, and then I am Don. So we practice two times with the partner, okay? Two times, 2.8 or in the WhatsApp. Also is in the WhatsApp, 2.8 or in WhatsApp. Okay.
Okay, good. Any questions? Never. No. No Did questions? A question. Okay. Never. Now we're going to continue with the past of B. Okay, the past of B. ¿Qué significa B? Para empezar, what is B? O estar. Exacto, ser o estar. En the past, ¿qué sería en el pasado? Tuvo. Ok, muy bien. Fue, estuvo. Fui. Estuvo. Excellent, excellent. This is the past of B. In this session, participants will study the past of B. Questions and short answers will be taught. Hello, nice to have you back. I'll make reference of the past of... Okay. Voy a dar un poquito. La contracción, the contraction, wasn't, is, was not. Weren't, is, were not. Okay. Lo mismo que en cualquier otra regla con lo, el verbo. Is he, she, it, con S. En este caso, he, she, it, was. He, she, it, was. I, you, we, they, were. It's okay? Okay. It's okay. 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 Good, good. The verb B. Let's start. Past of B. Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. The past of be, am, um, and is, was, are, were. To ask questions using the past of be, we do it this way. Was, were, plus subject, plus complement, plus question mark. Were you my student? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was she sad? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were they late? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Remember, we used be to express feelings, conditions, states, and descriptions, either in present or past. Now you try answering the following questions. Were you my student before? Were, you were your parents there? Conditions, states, and descriptions, either in present or past. Now you try answering the following questions. Were you my student before? Were you happy yesterday? Were you late this morning? Okay, the important is here. Okay. The same, the question, the verb to be. Okay. Entonces, lo usamos normalmente para tres cosas. Tres cosas importantes. Profesiones. Okay. Emociones y lugares. Profesiones, emociones, lugares. Por ejemplo, profesiones. I am. Okay. I am a teacher. En el presente. Si yo lo digo en pasado, I was a student. Por ejemplo, antes. Right? Para profesiones. Okay. Emociones. Ayer, como estuve. I was happy. Okay. I was happy. Or I was angry. Y para lugares. Okay. I was born, for example, I was born in San Vicente, okay? Or I was in El Tunco, okay? El Tunco on Sunday. Son los tres normales, profesiones, emociones y lugares. Teacher, el, el uso de, esas, de esos tres puntos es solo para el pasado, del to be. 
El was y el were, correcto. Okay. Was okay. y were es para el pasado. La misma función en presente, solo que usamos am, is, are. Pero en pasado va a ser was and were. Was and were. Thank you. Okay. Any questions? No question. No question. No question. Okay. Okay. Good. No question. All right. Entonces, lo que vamos a hacer es practicar con el compañero para estar seguro que no lo entendimos bien. Para esto va a ser 2.11. 2.11. Si uno eh, está en el celular o uno no puede, puede compartir con el compañero la pantalla para que puedan ver. Pero ¿qué tienen que usar? El verbo to be. ¿Y cuál es el verbo be? Was or were. Tienen que leer y decidir cuál es el correcto. Was or were para las 10. For the 10 sentences. Was or were. It's okay? okay. Yes, it's okay. Okay, good. Walter, okay. Okay, let's try together. 
Number one. What is number one? Where? Okay. Where? Where. Good. Number two. Where? Where. Where. Okay. Number three. Where? Where. Mm. Casi solo where, huh? Okay. Number four. Weren't. Weren't. Ah, weren't. Okay. Number five. Where? 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 Okay. Number six. Wasn't. 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 Number seven. Was. Oh, was. Was. Okay. Number eight. Was. 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 Number nine. Where? 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 And number ten. Was. 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 Excellent. That's perfect. All the answers correct. Okay. Very, very nice. This is 2.11. Okay. Así que veo que todos entienden was y were. Wasn't and weren't. Excelente. Ya es la hora de conversación y crear un diálogo para presentar al grupo. Vamos a estar en parejas. El mismo compañero o la compañera van a crear su propia pregunta preguntas para un diálogo. Entonces, imagines Jaime, mi compañero, yo digo, Jaime, how are you? What did you do today? Were you happy? Did you work? What? Y ahí yo y él vamos a crear nuestra conversación. ¿Ok? No tiene que ser de hoy, puede yeah. ser de la semana pasada. Jaime, yo no veo a Jaime desde el año pasado. Jaime, how, what did you do for Christmas? Ah, oh, what did you do for New Year's? Yo puedo hacer lo que yo quiero con mi compañero o compañera. Pero es nuestra creatividad. Pero el objetivo es utilizar las dos formas del pasado. Did y wasn't were. Did y wasn't were. Así que tienen que tener los dos tipos de preguntas y los dos tipos de respuestas. No solo did, 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 did. ¿Verdad? No solo es pregunta, respuesta. No, es una conversación. Ok, ¿hay alguna palabra, algún vocabulario, algo que no están seguro antes de empezar? No, no, no hay nada que, ok, eso, nadie que, hey, mire, profe, ¿cómo se dice? Eh, estaban tirando silbadores, perfecto, nadie tiene ninguna consulta, ok, excelente, ok. <risa> Sandra, ¿yo qué? Okay? Sí, charando perdida que me saqué, me, me saqué. <ríe> <ríe> ya te entendí. Me salí sin querer. <ríe> no te preocupes. Antes de meterte, estamos practicando y creando nuestra propia conversación con did y was. Van a crear su propia conversación con did y was. ¿Ok? Ok. All right.
Oscar, you okay? Yes, okay. Yes, it's okay. Okay, okay, Oscar. Ok, excelente. Ok. A ver, ¿quién es el primer grupo? Zelda y Mike. Eso, Dora, eso. All right, Dora, ¿quién es tu partner? Griselda. Griselda, ok. Griselda, ¿were you in México last weekend? No, I wasn't no no visit a Mexico. Why? Why? Why do you why? Why do you no visit Mexico? I no, I wasn't um, no no passport in no money. Uh, where do you stay last weekend? Uh, I was in the department in La Paz. Do you do you happy in La Paz? Do you no did Did you happy in the past? Where? Es tu cero estar. Estuviste. Okay. Where you? Uh -huh. Where you happy in La Paz? I I wasn't happy with grandmother and club and uncles and cousin in the river. Did you eat the chicken in La Paz with your family? No, I wasn't not no eat chicken. Why? Why why do you eat chicken? Mm -hmm. uh, Okay, no problem. Good job. Very good. Hey, good Porque job. Porque comimos tamales. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> excelente, excelente. 
para ustedes dos, Dora, Griselda, en el chat están los errores para que puedan tomar noto, nota, acópienlo, pónganlo en su cuaderno, cuál es la forma correcta de estructurar respuestas y preguntas. Ok, very good, very good. Ok, okay. excelente. Entonces, good. Ok, nice job. Ok, Dora, Griselda, seleccionen quiénes sigue o hay, o hay voluntarios. Vale, eligen los voluntarios entonces. Ok, who is next, Dora? Who is next, Griselda? Sandra. Sandra, ok, let's go, Sandra. All right. Me tocó a mí porque soy la más negrita. <risa> A mí me tocó Walter Quintanilla y Erasmo. Yo llegué tarde, pero a mí me agarraron ah, aquí la ropa. Walter en Erasmo. Sí. Ok. Let's see the presentation. Uh, ok. Ellos me preguntaron que, what, what did you, what did you do last weekend? I was a hard cough. No, sí. no, no. Pero no vas a, oh. vas a hacer una conversación. Así como oh. ejemplo, Ajá, van a tener una conversación con, así. Go ahead, Sandra. Ah, ok. Eh, Walter, where did you play? Eh, I played football in the park. Ok, Erasmo, uh, what did you do last weekend? Eh, I I play uh, football in in uh, in the park uh, Saturday. Uh, I Sandra. Why, what? why do you what do you visit in the park? Erasmo. I, um, I, I, I was um, in, uh, uh, in the park Saturday. Okay, uh, Walter. Uh, where did you play, Walter? Uh, I play uh, in the la cancha, cancha. Uh -huh. I play uh -huh. football in, in, in la cancha. Uh, where do you live? Uh, I, I live in uh, San Miguel. Uh, where do you live, uh, Walter? I live in San Salvador, Sandra. Sandra, what did you do the last weekend. I was a hard cough. <laughs> Are you sick? Yes, I do. Okay. Okay, good job. Very nice, very nice. Good, excellent, excellent, very nice. Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay. okay. All right. Sandra, solo había una pregunta que quiero aclarar. ¿Le preguntaste eh, qué, hice, qué hizo en el parque o quién visitó en el parque? Dijiste. Uh, no. Uh, uh, what did you visit in the park? Eh, Querías decir qué hiciste, quién visitaste o qué visitaste. Ah, sí, que le, eh, le, le dije, what do you visit in the park? Ajá. Ajá, pero era quizás qué hiciste en el parque, ¿verdad? Ah, ok, ok, sí. No, no, y puede ser, puede ser las dos formas, solo que quiero estar seguro de ponerte la forma correcta en el chat. Por eso te pregunto, ¿sería qué hiciste? No, ¿quién visitaste? Ajá, ¿qué hiciste? Ok, no hay problema, perfecto. All okay, right, teacher. you're welcome. So, Erasmo, Walter, Sandra. Pueden ver los errores que cometieron y corregirlos, tomen un asunto, especialmente en las últimas. Ok, ahí hay, uh, I had a hard cough, 
yo tuve, ok, yo tuve una tos fuerte. No, no was y were. Vamos a cambiar el verbo en ese. Y yes, I am. Cuando preguntan, ¿estás enferma? Tenés que contestar. Si es en presente, tenés que contestar en presente. No hay problema. Yes, I am. Ok. All right. No es yes, I do, sino que yes, no, I yes, am. I do. Es yes, I am. Estoy, porque vas a decir estoy enferma. Es yes, I am. Ok. Va. ¿Quién sigue? ¿Quién sigue? Todavía falta un montón. Teacher, ¿y si estoy enferma de amor, cómo digo? No existe enferma de amor, pero sí, I am in love. I am in love. Good. Ok. ¿Quién sigue? So, Erasmo, Sandra, Walter, alguien, eligen el siguiente. Así lo queremos escuchar. Ok, así lo. Wow, all right, así lo. Ok. Zero, who is your partner? It's a, it's a Melvin. Melvin, ok. Hi. Maybe. Right. What did you Hi. do? Bye. What did you Hey, maybe. Hi. Uh, what did you do the last year? Um, I. I, I am in a supermarket. Okay. What did you buy in the supermarket? Um, uh, uh, fr fruits, apple, uh, potatoes, and... In cereal only. Who did you go at the at the supermarket? At supermarket? Who did who did you go at supermarket? Maybe. Um, um, which which my my husband? Okay, where did you live? Maybe. Um, I live in Santa Ana. What is the weather there? Repeat, please. Repeat, please. The weather. Uh, eh, Re, re, repítame la pregunta, por favor. Where did you... Uh, how, is, how did you... The weather over, over there? Um, it's a cold, it's a hot. No, 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 uh one one children what did you do where did where did you go at the beach in the last weekend um not why no no Maybe. no okay good job very good job Good, excellent. Okay. 
Hang on a second. Let me put in the chat. Ok, muy bien. All right, muy bien. Ahí están los errores que necesitan corregir. El, este caso, lo más importante es acostumbrarse a no hablar español en inglés. Porque en español nosotros nos acostumbrando a contestar con una palabra las preguntas. Eh, de, ¿Fuiste a la playa ayer? Sí. Eh, ¿qué, eh, ¿Qué vas a ir a comprar? Frutas. Entonces tenemos que acostumbrarnos a hacer la oración. ¿Ok? That's the most important. Y fijarnos en esas partes de ahí. Yes, uh, eh, I have a child. ¿Ok? Por, por ejemplo, um, uno... En inglés no se dice el, el, normalmente el número uno. No se dice I have one. Se dice I have a. El a significa uno. Ok. Good job. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Ahí pueden tomar nota para que lo corrijan para la próxima. All right. Ciro Neidy, who's next? Who's next? Erasmo. Erasmo. No, ya pasó Erasmo. Erasmo ya pasó. Silvia. Sí, Silvia. No, Silvia no pasó. Dale eso. Ok, Silvia. Uh -huh. Hi, teacher. Este, con Santos. With es... Santos. Ok, Silvia en Santos. Solo un poquitísimo. No importa, no se preocupen. Es importante hacer el esfuerzo. Ok. What did you today? Santos. No me escucha. Oh. San ah. oh, okay, okay, ah. yeah. Ah. What did you do today? Uh, I did my homework. Where did he in the breakfast? Oh, in my, uh, I eat in my house. Who did you go with? Come on, uh, repeat, please. Where did you go on vacation? Uh, my vacation, uh, I went at the beach. Who did you go with? Who did you go with? On vacation. Ah, que no fue conmigo, es eh, my family. Eh, eh, we. With my family. Solamente. Ok, no problem. Good, okay. good job. Nice try. Good effort. Very good, very good. Ok. Ahí pueden ver, igual en el chat, pueden ver eh, las partes donde se tienen que corregir. Lo más importante es, acuérdense que en las respuestas tienen que usar el verbo en el pasado. Usamos did, was, were, eh, cuando es preguntas, pero solo vamos a usarlo en negativo. Si es positivo, tenemos que usar los verbos en pasado. Ok. All right. Ok. okay. Excelente. Okay. Creo que Katia Carolina falta, ¿verdad? Hi, teacher. Hello, Katia. Who was your partner? Um, Mary's Abigail. Mary's Abigail. Ok. Hi. Hello. <clears throat> okay. How was your afternoon, Katia? Fine, very good. 
And you afternoon? Uh, very well, sir. Uh, was cooking. And you? I. I clean in the house. Um. And a story thing. And you? Okay. <laughs> uh, for me, world tomorrow. Excuse me. Uh, cook. No, so it's applicable. Cook for. Mm, cook for me. Cook for me. Yo. Tomorrow. Meris, eh, puedes hablar más fuerte, no se te escucha casi nada. Ok, hoy sí. Ok. Good for me, yo, tomorrow. ¿Qué, qué, qué quieres preguntar, Meris? No sé si ella me estaba preguntando qué había hecho en la tarde o algo así, no sé. Yo estaba contestando. Cociné para mi trabajo mañana, algo así. Cociné para mi trabajo mañana, ok. O para llevar a mi trabajo. Ok. Ok, so, cook for me, work I, uh, tomorrow, creo. <laughs> Ok. Teacher, solamente eso habíamos preparado. Ok, ok. No problem. Good job. Good job. Good job. Buen esfuerzo. Excellent. Ok. Solo la pronunciación, la primera palabra, no es busy, es busy. 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 Uh -huh. Y ahí solo tenga cuidado en formar la oración completa. I cleaned my house. I cooked for my job. Ok. Y tengan cuidado de mezclar pasado y futuro, entonces o sea, son diferentes oh. Ajá. yo cociné, por ejemplo yo cociné para mi trabajo mañana o sea, yo cociné ok, o, o yo preparé la comida de mañana uh -huh. okay. así, ok, so don't worry oh, thank, okay, you, thank you thank you, acuérdense que tienen tarea este fin de semana la yeah. tarea es el listening, el listening que quedó pendiente 2.13 significa que el lunes deben estar completos la unidad 1 y 2. El lunes tiene que estar completo la plataforma unidad 1 y 2. ¿Ok? La tengo toda. Eso, tengo la tengo toda. toda. <risa> All right. Good job. All right. Teacher. Yes. Can you help me? Eh, no puedo entrar a la, a la plataforma para las, hacer el, la tarea. Ah, no, entonces no te, puedo, no te puedo ayudar yo, Jaime. Eh, esa es la área técnica. Ahí en el grupo, estás en el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Ok, Así en el es. grupo de WhatsApp aparece un nombre, Jonathan, y aparece, no me acuerdo el otro nombre, el, déjame ver, ya te digo ahorita. Va a ser o Jonathan o, uh -huh. ah, o Jason Bautista. No, no. Sí. Okay. Sí, eh, thank you, teacher. Uno de ellos porque ellos son encargados de la área técnica de, de sí. bloquear usuarios, oh, eh, wow. activar cuentas, toda esa área. Yeah. Eh, excelente, teacher, le oh, agradezco. Wow. De nada, ya sabes. Sí. Sí, gracias. Good night. Good night, guys. Take Good care. Night. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. I see Bye. you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Have a nice weekend. You too. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. Oh, no.
Griselda, Perfecto. vi tu pregunta. Eh, eh, ¿A qué te referís, Griselda? ¿Dónde está mi champusito? Hola, papá. Champú. Champú. Ok, creo que Champú no contesta, pero ok, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>